looking ahead, do you think that the winner of the Western Conference, how do you think they finish against Boston in the finals? Give me Dallas. Now what if Minnesota shocks the world? Give me Boston. All right. Where are you at? I think the Western Conference is winning the finals. Okay. I said that the other day on minus three, and I bet it. Do you think some of that is you're forgetting how Boston looked with Porzingis out there? I am not betting that a guy who has to play basketball in a month and a half is going to make a major impact in at least the first two or three games back in the biggest stage that the sport has to offer. I think that's an impossible ask. But don't you feel like on Boston's team, I feel like that argument is cool if he was the first or second guy. And even on some nights, he may be the, the fourth or fifth guy. Because you got Derek White or Drew Holiday that can go off any given night. If you break down the matchups real quick, you assume that I think it's a safe assumption to think that Lively will be back in the lineup. That means Dallas has a alley-oop threat on the floor at every single point in time during the game. And if you look at Minnesota, they go three deep with seven footers. I, I'm not worried about Boston offensively. I'm worried about them defensively. I think either one of these Western Conference teams has enough firepower to where Boston will be on their heels. It'll be a good matchup. It's, you know, I can't wait to see Mavs Celtics, man. You know, Kyrie going back to Boston. Porzingis against his former team. You know, some good storylines here. Tatum, legacy for the young guys, next generation. Luka's been compared to Larry Bird going against the Celts. A lot of juicy stuff there, man. You hear this, America? He's giving them no shot. He's giving them no shot. It's over.